Ladies and gentlemen, when is enough enough? I understand the globalists and their social engineering so well that it frightens me sometimes. I was in Los Angeles uh, to visit Jesse Ventura for a 60th birthday party, and I was sitting in the hotel Friday afternoon, and they were hyping Carmageddon. For those that don't know, it made national news. Oh my gosh, the 405 over the weekend, the big highway, was going to be shut down. It was going to be the end of the world. Well, I was there Saturday. It wasn't the end of the world. But as I was watching on the news, and I even said this to Rob Dew, who was with me, but it's not on record. But the point is, I said, I bet they start shutting the highway down all the time. And he said, I bet you're right. I said, this is part of Agenda 21. Anything they hype up this much... Because in Agenda 21, in the Smart Growth Program of the UN, the Austin City Council talks about it. They want to shut down major roads. They want to force you to work from um, the local area you live in. And all of that sounds reasonable, but it's about creating artificial scarcity. Just charging you 100 bucks for a gallon of gas instead of 5 bucks. It's about ripping you off. It's about controlling you. It's about saying what type of toilet you can have or what type of light bulb uh, or can you have a garden in your front yard. It's total international corporate zoning and paying carbon taxes to the big six mega banks that have openly destroyed our society. So sure enough, I was on Drudge Report uh, this Sunday night after finishing my Sunday radio show and he just updated it. The big TV station that was hyping it like it was into the world, KTLA, and I'm seeing others call for this. And in here they say, it worked great. Let's start with once a month shutting down the highway. Let's shut down other highways. Uh, this will teach people. This will make people uh, you know, work from home. This will be good for our environment. Well, there you have it. By the way, the last time I was in England for a week, they would announce, the Queen has shut down this road today. You must use that road. She owns the roads in London. And this is what feudalism is. They're teaching us our roads don't even belong to us. That's why they love it for presidents to shut down entire cities, sometimes multiple times a day, so they can drive royally while we sit in traffic for two hours. It only takes me 30 minutes to get home. It took me over an hour and a half when Obama was here a few months ago. It's all about them just urinating on us, exercising their power over us. The TSA first groping the outside of our pants, now going inside. Chicago School District saying, you can't pack a lunch for your kids' parents. You're not trusted. You can't have a garden in your front yard, prisoners. It's all about in-your-face dominating you. This is thug psychology. It's operant conditioning, and it's time for people to wake up. They always sell the stuff as reasonable, but it's all about arbitrary power. If you'd have told folks 10 years ago they'd be shutting down major highways you know, for the earth, you wouldn't believe it. They've got us by the short hairs. They've built this society.